Crystal Marshall from MarshallStudioPhotography.com. I'm here to let you know in five minutes or less how to take care of your camera and why it's important. So let's say you spend $500 or more on a camera and then add $200 or more for a lens and you drop your camera. That's this huge bummer because you invest so much time and so much quality and so much money into your camera gear. So first of all, a lens hood. I never leave home without a lens hood. Not only does it protect my lens from bumps and bruises, which I have a lot because I have kids. So if they're hanging from me or if I'm shooting at the park, I'm running around, I never ever leave home without a lens hood. Um, a UV protective filter. Very important. I don't even shoot with a lens without a UV protective filter. So, so important. Um, a lot of people don't like them because they don't make your photos look as professional, but I never, ever, ever shoot with a lens without it. I've had too many situations where I've turned sharply, or I'm at a wedding, or you know I bump a table or something and it's cracked. Imagine my lens cracking in the middle of a, a middle of a wedding. This I can just throw away if it cracks. Ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Um, but a lens could be seven hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. So definitely highly recommend one of these. This is a fifty millimeter one point four. I will put a link to it on below, but I highly recommend using a prime lens. I don't, I actually sold my kit lens within about two months of having it because I just love the creaminess and the butteriness of using prime lenses. So let's talk about cleaning. Basic lens cloth, try not to use your shirt please, try not to use a sweater, you could scratch the glass. Um, a basic lens cloth um, could go for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Walmart has them, um, online has them, your optometrist has them if they come with your glasses. Um, so you just wipe it right here. I always also wipe the UV protective filter as well. Fingerprints, getting fingerprints and dust in your photos is a huge issue, especially when you're outside a lot, you're at the beach a lot. I definitely clean my cameras about once a month. Take the lens off little circular motion. That's done. What do you do about the inside of the camera? Don't ever put your fingers in there. Don't ever spit in there. Don't use a compu you know, computer canned air aerosol. Never ever. Um, getting one of these, which is like a rocket air thing. I think I got it for five dollars online, but I can put a link below. Having your camera upside down, squirting some air into it to push the air around. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. If you take care of your camera, if you don't change lenses at the beach, or when it's you know going from hot to cold, hot to cold, getting moisture in your camera, or being in extreme temperatures, or um, having your kid um, throw paint at you or throw water at you, your camera is going to last for a long time. Um, another thing, I always have a strap on my camera. Now, I highly recommend black rabbit straps because I know they're a little pricey, but if I'm going to be at a wedding and I have $10,000 strapped to me, I want to make sure that it's going to be guaranteed. They're not going to drop. They're not going to fall. All the clips are going to be holding it because I have had situations where I've dropped my camera at a wedding where I'm not using a really nice strap or something isn't connected, and I'm like, oh, man. This is why I pay for a lot of money for a strap. So don't leave home without a good strap. Um, a case. This is just a basic camera case. You get them anywhere. I got this from the thrift store for $5. I would never just throw my camera in my purse without some kind of protective sleeve or bag or um, a case around it. I have children. I have sippy cups in my bag. I have crackers in my bag. You do not want that in your camera gear. Um, when somebody's at a park and I see them put their camera on the grass, big no-no. You always make sure it's an a piece of electronic equipment that's highly valuable. Make sure you put it in a case. Make sure you put it in a bag. Um, make sure it doesn't touch the dirt, the ground, the sand. Um, that's going to really bring the value and the life of your camera down. 
Um, another thing I always have insurance on my camera and gear. You can go through your local insurance company to do, um, you know, personal property, valuable property insurance. Um, I think I was paying nine dollars a month to have all of my camera gear and lenses insured. Totally worth it. So that is my five minutes or less. How to take care of your camera, why it's important, and what you can do. So stay tuned.